Should we shoot them? Oh, he puts his hands up. Look at that. <gasps> That's so cool. Is he going to do it again? No, he's going to hit me. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Dying Light. In the last part, we did some jobs for Rise. We've done quite a lot of jobs for Rise actually. And he all, all he gave us was like five vials of Antazin. And he, was, he promised us. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower. And as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He's kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. <laughs> okay, there was a little side mission there popping up if that interrupted me. What I was saying was, um, Rise, he promised us two cases of answers in, and all he gave us was like five vials, which is like a very little amount compared to what he promised us. So uh, we're making our way back to the tower now with what we've got. And also, people are turning into zombies because they haven't been getting medication. And I'm falling over everywhere here. And um, so we're going to go head back to the tower and see if we can help out and see Brecken, what the plan is next. Crane, do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antizen. Don't lose any? I'm here, guys. I'm outside the door. Got just loads of side missions on the map there, isn't it? Look at that. Um, has the place changed? Oh no, the door's that way. <laughs> Came in a different door. So we need to make our way quickly and find out what's going down. Are we going in the lift? Let's go up the elevator. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call, and now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. So is it all under control? Have they killed everyone that was up there? Or are these zombies? So let's go check on Brecken, see if he's still um, sane after seeing kids killed, get killed. You okay, buddy? This is where we get the announcements about the Anta syndromes. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! You tit. You broke the TV. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor! Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive! Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards! I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen... I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just just give me some time, all right? There's there's got to be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. There's got to be another way. The only other way is with him um, turning turning Jade into Rise. Finally, I get to do some actual good. And that's why they thought Jade would be good in the arena, because she is a kickboxer of some kind. So look for private spot on the roof to contact the GRE. Hopefully we won't get caught. Someone sp see us speaking to the GRE. They haven't really questioned the radio, have they? They know that we've, ha we've got it, and they don't really still know where we came from originally, and why we're here. 
Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? Scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Rahim, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. That wasn't team. That was you being a tit and me saving your life. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. Okay. This guy is just an idiot now. We need to get high on the roof anyway to um, get some privacy and call the GRE. I reckon that guy's gonna be dead soon. I don't see him surviving too much too much longer. This is Crane. Do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. He's telling me that I'm playing Mother Teresa. I've got a heart, I've got feelings, yo. These people have lives. Um, okay, so maybe we can speak to Jade. Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Okay, so if we do get this mission done and we do get this new answers in from the school, Rise is definitely not going to be friendly to not friendly, but non-hostile towards us anymore. All right, so let's go meet Jade. Before we go, let's um, speak to this guy. See if he's got any good things for us. Okay, our inventory is full for weapons. We can take all this stuff and um, let's dismantle a few crap weapons like these heavy rebars they're never worth using just because they're too heavy and uh they swing so slow oh we've got the police rifle haven't we we should probably put that in our inventory in our equipped weapon slots just so we can um switch to it quickly if we ever need to i'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to save it for situations where there's a dangerous enemy or whatever press r3 to aim down the sights ah old school I was expecting it to be L2. Uh, no, L2's gadget stuff in it, like extra items. I still want to use this. Should we test it on one zombie? 
Should we pop a zombie's head? He's falling over. Let's pop the zombie's head. Keep still. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that's enough for that for now. Let's just uh, get away from the zombies. Okay, so we're gonna go meet Jade. Let's make our way. Alright, so Jade should be in this train car. going on at the school. Tyra's men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Great question. If it's answers in, we need it. Feels like a bit of a stealth mission coming up now. So they got hostages. Jade, where? Shit. So at least if these guys have got guns, like we've got a gun as well. Oh no. Is he gonna make it? Oh, he's close. Oh shit. Fucking to here. That guy should die in a fire. We. Fuck. Where'd she go? Yeah, he's dead. Where the hell did Jade go? She just ran off. Alright, so the objective is now find the entrance into the school. How many bandits are inside? I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground. And we'll make less noise moving separately. Alright, so it does look like we're going to be going... Um, stealth, stealth style. So, there is zombies in the... In the um, the area around the building. There's no way there's any people actually, so we should be quite safe quite now at the moment to stay undetected. So to find a door, here's a door here. It's locked. Another dead end. Okay. Shit. You'll have to come in the way I did. I just hope we can find another way out if we have to. Some kind of Head for the outbuilding on the roof. Ooh. Head for the outbuilding on the roof. Okay, so we need to get on the roof. I've just seen a guy on the, on the roof then. On the over corner. So, um, maybe we can get around more on this side. You can stay undetected a bit better. Let's try this side. Now, there's, yeah, we can definitely get up that side if we go. There's a zombie on the roof there, isn't there? Isn't there people up there? The guards? I think we need to make a running jump to that. There we go. I jump up here. Definitely, we're making our way on the roof now. Oh no, it, that isn't a zombie, is it? It's just a, I mean, a, a person. It's a zombie. Oh, hello. How are you? Let's take his loot. His six dollars. I'm rich, bitch. All right, so there's um, a bloater zombie there. If we switch to the stars and we throw it at the one, will it explode? Yes, it will. That's good. Okay, they both blew up as well. Okay, let's see if we can get inside the door. I'm gonna close the door behind us. There's quite a few zombies out there. Oh, hello. God. They've got quite a big range on them, haven't they, for the amount of damage they deal. Um, that's hard. I'll leave that for now. I feel a bit scared at the moment. There's zombies around everywhere. So I think we can go through like a hatch down here. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice. So because this is like their building, I was expecting like no zombies to be anywhere near it, but 
There's quite a few, even like upstairs in the in, inside the building, you know. So we need to have a little quick look around here. There's still zombies in here. You can hear them. What is this here? Gas pipe. Craft a new item. Okay. Turn the flashlight off now. Getting close to the objective marker. I think there's going to be some men inside here that we may have to take out. Let's try this door. Yeah, it's never that easy, is it? Can't get through that way. Got to go the long way around. Why is that door just opened on its own? I was just flipping around a few items there, I was deciding whether to have crackers or um, throwing stars. I think I'll keep the throwing stars out just in case we do run into more of those exploding zombies. Shit. Um, okay, gun time. Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, I made a mistake there, I shouldn't have gone loud. Let's get the garden circle out then. It seems like there's an alarm going off. So we were going stealth and I kind of cocked that up there. Okay, we need to get the alarm off so we'll get these killed quickly. So now we need to find the alarm quickly. Let's quickly scavenge a few things. Um, the alarm should be in this room over here. Is it? Okay. Okay, we're good. Is that a zombie? Oh, there's a guy. Oh, let's see how good this weapon is against um, humans. It's taking a few hits, isn't it? About oh, four hits, maybe. I should really empty my inventory into a bag as well, just because I've got loads of green weapons now in the bags. And if I want to pick up more, I can't. So let's carry on. We'll turn the alarm off. Whoa, shit. I need to heal, actually. <laughs> I just realised the health is very low. Let's see if we can sneak up to this guy. Have that. Whoa. What's what? That's a pickaxe. Um, okay, we'll just use the items out. Actually, you know what? I just realised our hook blade that we had before, it's broken. So we may as well drop that and pick up another weapon. Let's carry on. So we look around quite a lot of the buildings so far. Just need to find these answers in now. Zombie, zombie, zombie! This weapon is good. <laughs> Very powerful. Oh, there's quite a few of these here now. Oh, look at this. Should I get the gun out? Is the alarm going to go off if I get the gun out? Actually, you know what? This is probably going to kill them pretty quick. As long as I hack them down once I've got an attack on them. Like, oh my god, look at that one hit. He blocked the rest of them. Then that one hit that got through. Took him out. Let's heal up quickly. This is it for you. Look at that evasion skill right there. <laughs> Salute these guys quickly. Sounds like we got a zombie coming in. And we do. I think this weapon though, the, the range is quite short. You know what I mean? Like when I had like a baseball bat or something like that, it feels like you can hit them from quite far away. But this seems quite short. 
I think we're looking inside this room, aren't we? For the answers in. What's this? Jade, no luck with any answers in. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there. Need to find the key. I'm guessing it's going to be in one of these rooms then because they're all highlighted. Let's check all the cupboards and stuff. There's a blade there. Basement keys. There we go. Move this cabinet out of the way, I think. Look at that kick. Take out three pieces of wood with one kick. We've got more zombies coming in. I don't think we need to go that way, do we? Let's check out this side. They fall over all the time, don't they, these guys? Whoa, hello. Just gotta watch our backs. Repair the weapon quickly. As long as you've got a decent enough weapon, these zombies are really not an issue anymore. Like, when we first started playing the game, we are using, like, crappy grey weapons with, like, just a basic steel pipe. And it took, like, ten hits to kill an enemy. Now it's, like, one or two. This feels so powerful. And this isn't even, like, the best upgrades you can get. You can get better than this. Okay, get back. Oh, no way was he close enough to hit me. Took off shitloads of damage with that. We still need to go downstairs, don't we? This is the door that we need to unlock anyway. Turn the light on. I think I'm going to make craft a couple more um, throwing stars, just because they are quite good against those exploding enemies, as long as you're not too close to them. Alright, there's enemies coming behind us now. Get back. I killed them. You should probably just keep moving really and stop scavenging just because it's quite dangerous around here. Okay, get back, get back, get back. Nice. That jump back ability is really good. This is not help. Is that Jade? Give me a hand here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an old. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. That's C4. Shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Now listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No. Just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Yeah, Rahim's got the explosives now that he wanted to blow up the hive. Oh, these are people. Should we shoot them? Oh, he puts his hands up. Look at that! <gasps> That's so cool. Is he going to do it again? No, he's going to hit me. I don't think there's no, no reason not to use this for the moment because um, I don't think we're attracting any zombies. Actually saying that, I can hear them screaming. Okay, that was bad. Sorry. Just die already. Right, I'm going to switch to the, um, the, the melee weapon just because... <laughs> Yeah, that is making some noise, isn't it? And I'm hearing zombies scream. So I'm getting a little bit intimidated right there. Can you hear that scream? My god. Okay, so which way are we going? Are we going around this way? I think we may have to go back the way we came. In that building. In this room, I mean. The way Jade went out. Leave the school. Okay, we're done. I think we just have to clear the area there. And then, you know, give Jade a head start.
We're looking pretty calm, aren't we, looking at this guy? He's right in our face and we're just like looking at him. Looks like it's night time. So we need to get back to the tower or anywhere where we can make it daytime. Sleep till the morning. We needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any Anderson. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Ray and I'll give him to Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. I just love how calm I'm speaking, Crane's speaking right there. When, uh... I'm getting eaten alive by a nighttime zombie. We survived the night apparently. I think it's now morning. So we spent the whole night in that school because we went in in the daytime and it's now it's it was just being nighttime and it's daytime again. Must have been in there for like eight hours. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it back to the tower in one piece. Um, I think we're gonna go inside and we'll speak to Jade at the start of the next part. All right, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.